I'm Pei Lafanara from Nickel City Scene, and we're here with Universal Honey. My first question is, what is the big difference between your first record, Magic Basement, and your second one, Earth, Moon, Transit? Well, I think that this record is a lot more focused, for sure. I think we've finally come into some kind of sound, um, you know, and we have a band that, you know, we were playing with on the road during that whole Goo Dolls tour that we did last year, at the end of last year, uh, we were able to really hone the songs, a lot of them, and play them through that whole tour, whereas we didn't have an opportunity to do that on the first record. Now you've produced this record. Um, is, are you, is this something you want to do again? Possibly. We would work with a producer, you know, if, if we were able to work with someone we really respected and, um, you know, uh, but yeah, we would, we would do it ourselves again, for sure. It was a fun experience. Yeah. We wouldn't shy away from it if we had to do it. Yeah. Now, where did the title Earth, Moon, Transit come from? Johnny came up with that one. Actually, it, uh, it came from the movie Apollo 13. Yeah, it's in the, when they're in the capsule and uh, things are going wrong, and it's kind of a claustrophobic shot, and the camera pans by Tom Hanks' big head, and then <laughs> on the wall, there's a... Uh, in the military kind of spray paint on the door, it says Earth Moon Transit, and I kind of thought, oh, that's kind of cool. This is what names were stuck with me. Well, I, I guess I came in about probably a little less than a year ago, and the um, experience has been great. I mean, you know, to find a, you know, just, just to find a band that, that not only do you feel very comfortable with, you like the people, you like the music, and it's happening, the record's going, you know, very well. I mean, I feel pretty lucky, you know. I think a lot of people out there are, you know, are trying to, you know, get somewhere in, in, in this industry, and, and just to be in this position, I think it's great. I'm totally grateful. Now, you did a lot of touring with um, the Goo Goo Dolls the past year. Um, how was that experience for you? Were they supportive? Oh, they were the best. great, yeah. They're very supportive and uh, helpful. Helpful. They went, they went out yeah. of their way so many times just to make us, you know, feel at home and get us shows and stuff like that. It was really great. Yeah. Everybody, including the crew, was great. Yeah. yeah. Everybody. Now, what's your favorite song on the new album? Oh, you know, someone just asked me that a little while ago, and I don't have one particular uh, favorite song, which I think is. A good thing, probably, but uh, I, I love a lot of them. I love Pacific Atlantic. I, I love Any Road Back, of course, you know, the first single. Holiday, holiday, what's the occasion? He's away, holiday, what an arrangement. Don't you know anything? I'm not leaving. You can't know everything. I'm Now, how is the how is the audience re uh, the audience reacting to the new record? So far, it's been great. People have reacted very well to it, and uh, you know, shows that we've played, playing the new material, it's been wonderful. I think audiences in the U.S. are much more upfront. Uh, if they like you, they'll say they like you, and if they don't, they'll say that they don't like you, and. You know, I like that um, Canadian audiences are a little bit more reserved. Every time we go, you know, out play a show, and after the show, if we get off and people are like, hey, we enjoyed you, had a good time, then we're happy, you know, mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. 